hello guys welcome back to the channel so in this tutorial we're going to go over an introduction to typescript so we're going to go ahead and cover a whole typescript course we're going to go from the very be beginning of typescript to the very uh old, to advanced concept okay so we're going to learn a lot of stuff about typescript so if you're new to typescript or want a refresher course on typescript then this tutorial is for you so this tutorial is for anyone who wants to learn typescript and i have one uh, prerequisite that you have uh, to have to take this course you must be you might be you must be comfortable using javascript okay uh, even not a, not comfortable not an expert just a beginner you have to know javascript in order to follow along with typescript because typescript is just a super set of javascript is not a new language on its own and we'll cover all this in uh, 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 in the upcoming section as we go along okay so let's go ahead and look at what typescript is so typescript uh, to understand typescript typescript is basically not a stand alone language so many many people think that typescript is a new programming language on its own well that assumption is wrong typescript is just a superset of javascript what does it mean a superset of javascript so i found this cool uh, explanation online that says it understands right it it means typescript right so typescript understands all javascript syntax and complex then capabilities while adding additional functionalities so one if you probably use javascript you probably came across uh, javascript having some weird behavior right so sometimes in javascript you try to uh for example you can add to what together strings uh, you can add together a, num a number in a string or you can create a property on an object uh, that then that object does not have that property and all that uh, complications so javascript has its quirky size and uh, abnormalities compared to other programming languages and that can cause a lot of issues when you're working with javascript for this reason typescript was created on top of javascript to add more functionality to javascript so typescript, TypeScript helps us with a lot of functionalities uh, that are really, really crucial uh, that uh, uh, normal JavaScript doesn't provide us with. So that's one of the reasons why you might consider sh uh, shifting to uh, TypeScript because TypeScript, TypeScript is becoming a growing language, uh, not like uh, like not a language on its own, right? I cannot get me right. It's coming a, a lot of things that people are using. So TypeScript is more of a development tool. So it, it helps you develop uh, while while you're doing while developing your code. It helps you with static checking. So it helps you checking your static uh, types to make sure that uh, your types are right. So that's basically the whole point of TypeScript: adding types like data types and annotations to JavaScript. Okay. So these annotations and uh, types can help you in uh, in doing uh, static uh, static static checking while you're writing your code. So uh, at the end of the day, TypeScript is basically javascript so typescript gets compiled back into javascript code and then ran in the background as javascript as plain javascript code so that's why typescript is just a superset of javascript so it's just javascript with some additional features right so uh, at the end of the day your code still runs 100 percent in javascript instead of typescript because typescript is not a language right so what typescript does is that uh, it does is static checking your code while you type it out so it's more of a superset of javascript as i explained it's just a wrapper around javascript and uh, not a standalone programming language it helps with error checking and static checking what which javascript doesn't provide for example let's go back in let's go into the official documentation of typescript which is this right here so if you go into uh you can go to uh, typescript lang.org so if you go in there you can simply go ahead and even on the off official documentation you can see we have this example right here so i'm going to go ahead and simply copy this example copy it and i'm going to go ahead and click on playground and instead of my playground, I'm going to go ahead and paste that code right there. So I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and paste that code right in here. Don't worry about uh, what, what you saw previously. It's just some things I was testing out. Okay. So you can see uh, in JavaScript, this is now, let me just bring this right here. So now this is the plain TypeScript code, and this is now JavaScript code. So you can see in JavaScript, you can access user.name, even user. Dot, even though user.name doesn't, user object doesn't have that property called name. So in TypeScript, that screams at you with an error saying that, uh, let's read what the error says is that property name doesn't exist on type of or, or the, on the user type but in javascript it doesn't give you any error everything was cool as possible right it just just runs i right? probably return to you now or undefined right so you can see uh returns you undefined probably so you can see uh in here types already has a big advantage over javascript by helping programmers to see uh you can access this right if you have programming you probably made an error like this in javascript it's just going to run file and then you get an error and then wondering uh, spend a lot of time debugging and try to find out, the, find out the error but typescript helps you pick up that error much 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 easier so this is an example given to, uh, to you by the official documentation okay so that's really the power of typescript and that's one great reason why you should learn typescript okay so what are we going to be covering in this course so let's look at the course outline and we're going over first the installation and setup of typescript we'll go over how to install uh, and set up typescript on your machine uh set up development environment on your machine and then finally we'll move on to basic uh basic concepts as we go throughout the whole series okay so i'll be posting the videos as time as time goes on 
So basic in uh, basic concepts, we cover things like variables, the different types, right, which are very very crucial to understand because TypeScript is all about types and annotations, right. So we'll go over the types, uh, go over the basic concept, and then we'll go over object object oriented programming. We we'll co cover different things like classes, objects, uh, generic classes, and so much more. Okay. So now let's go ahead and cover what you want to cover in this video, which is setting up and installing a uh, TypeScript. So let's go back in here, go back into the official documentation, and then scroll to download. And then down, you can go ahead and see the instructions to install. So we have to have npm installed. So what is npm? npm stands for no, uh, no, node packet manager. So it's just a packet manager, just like pip in Python. But basically, npm is for JavaScript, right? So uh, we're going to use npm to install TypeScript. Now this is, this is how you can install it, okay? Yeah, if you have, you want to install it in a specific project, but I want to install it globally. So I'm going to go ahead and use these instructions right here to install TypeScript globally. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and then go into my terminal. So I'll go back into my terminal. So I have a folder called uh, desktop. I have a folder called tutorials. I'm in that uh, folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and simply paste this command right here. So just npm install hyphen g, which is global, install it globally, TypeScript. So press enter. And that should go ahead and install TypeScript globally on your machine. Okay. So I already have it installed. So once I have this installed, now I'm going to go ahead and create a folder. I'm going to call it uh, TypeScript uh, tutorial. Just like that and press enter i'm going to change directly into my typescript tutorial and just uh, uh go in there so once i have that, that i'm going to open up vs code okay so i'm going to be using vs code for this tutorial feel free to use any any editor that any editor that you're comfortable using but i'm going to be using typescript i'm going to be using sorry i'm going to be using uh uh this uh vs code for this okay so i just closed up some of the files that i have open up so once i have this done i can see i have this typescript folder already created right here so once i have that done uh, we are good to go so let's go ahead and let's show you how I'm going to create a folder right here. I'm going to call it this one basics. Okay. So before I even create, uh, write any TypeScript code, I want to go ahead and install a couple of extensions. The first extension I want to install is called TypeScript. Okay. So TypeScript extension type, uh, TypeScript and press enter. So that should go ahead and uh, get me the TypeScript extension. So if you click, make sure you have this extension installed. It's called JavaScript and TypeScript Knight. Okay. So make sure that you have this extension installed. So once you have this extension installed, we also need another extension called uh, Prettier to help uh, formatting of the code. So Prettier, and then we make sure you also have Prettier installed. I already have all this installed, so I don't have to waste your time. So we have Prettier and uh, TypeScript installed. Now that I have all those two uh, library, those two, uh, those two uh, things installed, what I want to go ahead and install next is going to be, uh, I'm going to, now let's first of all, let's just write the code. We'll come back to this just in a second. Okay, so I'm going to go into my basic creative file. I'm going to call it lesson. Uh, underscore zero one dot uh, uh sorry dot uh dot tx okay sorry for that error so tx is now for uh ty typescript file so just press enter and that's going to go ahead and create for your typescript file so in it's going to do console dot log and you can say hello uh world just like that so once i have this done this is just a simple uh hello world uh, uh code in javascript right so now it, how can you go ahead and run this with typescript now this is TypeScript and TypeScript is just a superset of JavaScript, right? Providing us with uh, types and annotation features. So what I want to, uh, what you simply do at the end of the day is that your code gets converted back into JavaScript, plain vanilla JavaScript. So now we need to compile this and then you can be able to run it because you can't run TypeScript files, but TypeScript files are converted in JavaScript and then the JavaScript file is executed. So now let's go back into my terminal. Instead of my terminal, I'm going to change that into my basics and then press enter and clear that, uh, clear the terminal. And if I do ls uh, basics, let me just see why can't I find the basics folder. Okay, this is not in basics, so I'm just put it into basics. Okay, so once I have that done, I'm just going to go ahead and in here and then simply do an else. So I can see I have it right there. So I'm going to do tsc and then finally say the name of the file, which is lesson1.tx and then press enter. That's going to go ahead and compile that JavaScript, uh, that uh, the TypeScript file in now into a JavaScript one. So if I go back in and you can see I have a JavaScript file called lesson, lesson, uh, basically uh lesson lesson one dot js so now it basically took the code from in here and converted it into plain javascript that you can simply run so that's basically how uh TypeScript was so we have now converted our typescript now into javascript so basically at the end of the day it is javascript that gets run and not typescript TypeScript just help us with type annotations and this is just a simple demo you really not see what's the difference between the two right why should i learn typescript that, that's not much of a difference but as we go through the videos and we'll cover type types in the next tutorial you probably see, you, you begin to see the need for TypeScript and why TypeScript was created in the first place. Okay, good. So once you have all that done, uh, you can, if you want, as the step I skipped, if you want, you can type your, check your TypeScript uh, that version. You can do T, uh, TSX 
then you can do iphone iphone version uh version just like this and press enter that's returned to the type screen so you can see, or you can also do tss and iphone v and then run that just return to you the version of types that you have good so now we have types with setup okay so uh sometimes it's good that you set up your typescript uh your uh, production environment properly so that you can be able to uh do more more things with it so i'm going to show you how to set up uh, a development environment and use this development environment to learn as you go as you go through the whole co course or the whole series so what you need to go ahead and do i'm just going to go back inside of here and i'm going to create a folder in i'm going to call this folder i'm going to call it project uh env so project environment okay or you can call it production. Let's call it uh, production uh, env because this is what you do when you are doing a production code. You probably have uh, for a folder called a folder like this. Inside the folder, that's you have your production stuff, right? So let's go ahead and uh, and, and add the production stuff in here. So I'm going to go back into my terminal and I'm going to navigate to one directory back and change directory into uh, production and then call that. So I'm just going to go ahead and reduce the font a bit. Okay, so once you are in there, you can see this folder is absolutely empty, right? So now what I want to go ahead and do is first of all do TSX and then hyphen hyphen in it, yes, in it like that and press enter. So that's going to go ahead and create for us a uh, TypeScript, uh, TypeScript file, uh, basically a JSON file. And if you go in, you can find that file right here. So it's got this called uh, tsconfig.ts. So this is basically a tsconfig.ts. And we'll come back to this file just in a second. So don't worry about this file. We'll come back to this file just in a second. I explain to you what everything does. So basically, these folders have the different settings that. Uh, is followed when we are compiling your code, like which output directory to keep it and all that. Okay, so uh, don't worry about this. There's a lot of stuff I can explain everything to you. You learn as you go along. Okay, so once I have this done, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to do npm, uh, npm hyphen uh, npm sorry init, and I'm going to say hyphen yes to just say yes to everything. Okay, so once it's done, so if I go back in here. Uh, go back in you can see now have package.json so that's what the npn in it create, just creates the package.json file for us good so once we have this package.json right you don't actually need it but we can just keep it there yeah, i'm just showing you what you do when you are developing a production app okay so once we have everything done we are good to go so i'm going to create another set of two folders in here the first one is going to be src so src stands for source i'm going to create another another folder in here called dist so this stands for distribution okay so source, this is where we keep all our TypeScript files. So let's create a, a TypeScript file and we call it index.ts. Okay. So we can go ahead and see me run console.log and you can say, uh, hello world. Uh, this is TypeScript or TypeScript. Just like that. Okay. So let me just make sure I get the case casing right here. So this, that's basically so TypeScript.js and then finally, this is from hello world. This is TypeScript, right? So now, how do I, I compile this code? What is a this file? So this file, this stands for distribution. So that's where all your distribution is, uh, folders, files are going to be in. So what are the distribution distribution files? I told you once uh, earlier on that JavaScript, TypeScript basically is comp compiled down to JavaScript. So those JavaScript files that are obtained from this TypeScript file are what are going to be distributed. So that's our, 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 dist our distribution files. So all of them are going to be stored in this folder uh, called dist, okay? So now how do we go ahead and get this converted into javascript and then the file stored in this folder called dist okay so now let me just go back into the terminal i'm just going to do a simple command right here i'm going to do ts uh, tsc and then hyphen w so hyphen w means simply watch mode basically is watch out for any changes and then recompile the file so if i do that and if i go back in here, you can see now i automatically have a file in here called uh, index.js which is the same name as this file right here so basically it compiled our TypeScript down into now JavaScript. So this is now JavaScript, right? So good. So now we don't want this file in here. Instead, we want this file inside of our distribution folder. So how do we uh, this folder? So how do we do that? I can just go back inside of our uh, tsconfig.json file and then scroll down and find the part which is written out output the. So output the is just the output directory whenever they call this compile. So we want it to be in this, right? You want to be in this, uh, this folder. So that's basically it. So that's basically it. So whenever I compile my code, I want it to be in this folder and you can see right off uh the changes have been picked up and uh now we have the file now in this folder so now i can go ahead and just get rid of this okay so good so once i have this uh or get, get, i get rid of that we are good to go so if i, I write code in here and i i have my my uh, type script in watch mode the code is going to be compiled into javascript and the file is going to be stored in here so the file is going to have the same file name as the one in here so keep that in mind so good, once you have in there, I'm going to go ahead and create another file in. I'm going to call this one index.html. Uh, so it's going to be a HTML file. 
then I'm going to simply uh, fill this with this press exclamation and just uh, contain the title here to be uh, TypeScript cause just like that. So once I have this done, I'm going to have a script tag. So script and then close of that. And I'm going to go in and say SRC. And SRC is going to be dot forward slash. Uh, basically, I have the, let me just move this file into production instead. So move it in there and just move. Okay, so my, uh, that's good. So once we have it in there, now we are good to go. So now just say uh, dot and then say this. Uh, which is this one right here, and you're going to say index.js. So whenever the file, whenever we write TypeScript right here, that text is going to be compiled down into JavaScript, and that JavaScript is what is going to be, uh, because that's what browsers can understand, right? Browsers do not understand TypeScript. Instead, they understand JavaScript. So whenever the code is converted into JavaScript file, and then you can simply link it in here. So good. So now that you're printing a hello world, so let me just close this up. So now in here, we are printing hello world, and that hello world is getting compiled down into JavaScript. And that JavaScript is what you're rendering in here. So now if you go uh, open up this in a browser, you should be able to see that hello world. So how do you open this in a browser? Well, you can extend, uh, install, uh, there are a couple of ways of doing it, but the easiest way is just installing live server. Okay, so press enter. So once you press enter on that, click on this, and it's going to just go ahead and make sure that you have live server installed. So that will install for your live server. So good, so now once you have live server installed, uh, you can just go back in here. Uh, right click this and just say open with live server and press enter so it's going to open up in my browser and you can see it right here so if i go in here so you can see right now we have nothing so if i go into inspect mode and in my inspect mode if i go into console now you can see hello world this is from typescript so good we have everything done right so that's basically it how you can uh, have that uh, set it, set up okay so just ignore these warnings okay so that's basically how you can have that set up right there so that's basically how you can set up a development environment with TypeScript and then have your code running. So in the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and go over the different types that uh, TypeScript provides us and we we'll work with those types from there. So guys, so now that we have all that out of the way, I would like to end this video right here. And the next video, we'll go and look at the different types that we have in TypeScript, right? Because TypeScript is all about types and annotations, right? So guys, I uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, kindly make sure you share this video with any of your friends who is also learning TypeScript or any of anyone who is interested in TypeScript. Kindly share this video with them, uh, like uh, like the video, as another way you can give me feedback, drop a good uh, comment in the section, comment section below, whether a good comment or a bad comment, they all contribute to the channel. And if you want to support me further, you can buy me coffee, the link is going to be in the description of the video. So thank you guys so much and see you in the next one. Keep safe.